Ready to be scared? Even if you run your water through the most filtery of filters, it will still have chemicals in it from discarded prescription drugs. You have six seconds to freak out. Go. Hey peeps, Trace here for DNews. Prescription drugs are showing up in lakes and rivers and streams, and some of that water will make its way inevitably into our bodies. These drugs get there because we humans are not so awesome at taking care of prescription chemicals. We either excrete them through our bodily waste, which I know we can't really help that much, or some people are still flushing drugs down the toilet. It's not like they just disappear. How are these drugs getting there and what can they really do? A report by the Royal Society of Chemistry admits that once a concentration reaches a certain level, around one part per million, the chemicals can begin to affect the environment. They also admit that these drugs have been running into the groundwater since the 1990s, as most water treatment systems aren't really designed to screen out active ingredients like hormones or small molecules. The FDA and the EPA found that many urban and rural sources of groundwater, while clean and pure enough to drink, contain trace amounts of ingredients from birth control pills, antidepressants, painkillers, shampoos, antiepileptics, and other pharmaceutical products including caffeine. And worse, these drugs were beginning to affect the wildlife as well. Researchers at the U.S. Geological Survey discovered intersex fish in the Potomac River back in 2006, probably due to estrogen contamination. The USGS went on to admit that 80% of streams in Iowa were contaminated with everything from cholesterol medication to steroids. And on top of that, researchers in the U.K. found fish with deformed sex organs downstream from drug manufacturing plants. And if rivers continue increasing in contaminants like hormones, the chemical compounds will cut photosynthesis in algae, plants, and underwater fungi by 99%. And then the fish will eat those biofilms and suffer as well. Now comes the fun part. What happens when we eat these estrogenic riddled fish or drink the anti-anxiety filled water that filters through aquifers below stream beds and into our houses? We don't know yet. Humans are pretty good at resisting such small amounts of drugs, and so far, they've only affected small animals, tiny plants, and the like. But if we don't do something soon, the problem is only gonna get worse. One way to help is simply follow the rules. The FDA explains proper disposal of pharmaceutical drugs, so always follow those guidelines, and be sure you dispose of prescription medications properly. We can't help excreting them as waste. Really, we can't, it's gonna happen. But we can properly dispose of expired pills. Do you think maybe over-medication is the problem? What creative solutions can you come up with to keep this crap out of the water? Transcribe your thoughts in the comments or send us a tweet at DNews. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. I'm Trace and I am off to have a tall glass of tap water.